Well, howdy there, YouTube. It's Solar Max and Daughter <laughs> coming at you uh, live here. Don't want to miss this. We've got an X 3.3 that just popped off the sun. So I just want to try to make this quick. Yeah, alert, alert, solar alert. Sound off the alarm. <laughs> Roaring like a lion, are you? <laughs> yes, this is a solar alert, though. This is an X3, folks, 3.3 uh, that just happened. So, uh, and there were some uh, good M's and close to M's popping off. And then, of course, this one just shot off the uh, Sunspot 11, or I'm sorry, not 11, but 1890. Popped off an X3.3, okay? And this is going to have uh, an Earth facing component, I'm sure, and a, cl a plasma cloud with it, okay? And uh, that being said, and why is it important to watch this? And I did warn about this sunspot here, and uh, the way that it, there was a lot of good mixing, and uh, the sheer size of it, and it had the potential of X class flares, and to be watched closely. And, uh, and sure enough, popped off an X3.3. Why is this important? Well, you, you may not hear me talk about ISIN that much, and it is an issue that I study, but what, what is my take on ISIN is this, okay? As ISIN comes in, Earth will be rotating around, and if there's any uh, uh, interaction or uh, with ISIN and the Sun, those CMEs that it'll pop off, that have been popping off towards ISIN, that's where I get the idea about it. Uh, because it seems like Ison is spurring uh, coronal mass ejections from the sun its way. So if Ison is going around under and, up and around over, over the sun as the Earth is rotating, it's going to be spewing that those CMEs right at Earth. And if you have now, it's one thing when you have like this uh, sunspot to pop, and then maybe this one over here to pop, do some popping. And maybe, you know, but what happens if this one and this one were to pop off right at the same time? Or this one, this one, and this one at the same time? This is the potential that um, Ison can have. This is what, that, that's what I'm really looking at. You know, if people talk about, you know, impact, multiple objects, it hitting the sun, setting off a kill shot of some sort, multiple objects running into the sun, uh, having kind of like a runaway effect and uh, multiple in shots from the sun, uh, you know, it impacting the earth. I think it's already past the earth that way, so we're pretty safe there. Is there a debris cloud that we're gonna go through? You know, there's all these questions I hear out there, but what I've told you, uh, what my concerns are is its interaction with the sun as it's going around the sun and where the earth will be facing and where these sunspots will be and the alignments of the other planets, okay? Um, that could spark uh, earthquakes, you know? Uh, we got, um, uh, multiple alignments are going to be happening right at the same time that ISIN is going to be coming through. So there's a lot of electromagnetical uh, potential there, guys, and that's why it's worth studying on ISIN, okay? So uh, as it gets closer and closer to the sun, you know, passing by uh, Venus and then uh, Mercury, uh, as it gets closer and closer to the sun, will it shoot off stronger and stronger CMEs? Would it alter, those CMEs alter its uh, trajectory at all? I, you know, that's a good guess of mine. Uh, I, I, I couldn't guess on that. Um, depending on how strong the pressure and solar wind and mass and all that, you know, there's so much math that needs to go into that before somebody could ever give you a definite answer. But I tell you, if it got slammed hard enough, you know, I, 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 I think it would definitely have... Uh, an impact, but mine would be that uh, its effect on the sun towards and the sun's effect or relationship to the earth. So uh, that's what I've been looking at and how it's been reacting so far with the sun. And getting some pretty good pictures in now too. BP Earth Watch has come up with some good interesting arguments to keep us, I would say, entertained until uh, we get some real effects. You know, it's gone past Earth's uh, orbit now and uh, and heading on in towards the sun and then this is where it's going to get interesting when it's already doing this on its own you know if this is not an ISIN inspired event what inspired the X3 we know it was sunspot 1890 uh, but it just seems like we're having one after the other after the other after the other if you let me go back to this map again see how close do you see me the timing is on some of these and, and not all of these are coming from the you know same sunspots. 
And that's why I talk about, you know, what happens if you get this one, this one, this one, this one, where to pop off all at once. So that's one reason why I do these videos, guys. So alert. X-Class players are popping off tonight. Let's see what happens also with the chem trailing and geoengineering. And uh, what you see if your daytime temperatures and overnight temperatures change uh, in the forecast. Let's see when you tune in in a day or two to your forecast or your local false profit. If they're going to tell you the truth or not of what's coming our way and how the weather's dealt with, huh? Okay. Well, anyway, uh, with that said, guys, and uh, oh, and before we leave, I'm only five minutes into this. Um, you know, it, let me touch on politics for a moment. You know, we hear Obama making statements like, I'm going to put the fear of God into you all. That's a quote from Obama from yesterday from CBS uh, DC. Check that out. You know, Google that. You know, what, is, he, is he the God that's going to put fear in us all if it's going to be of his actions? Or what God is he talking about? Is it the Hindu God? Is it Buddha? You know, the, is, it, is it Allah? Is it Jesus Christ? You know, is he going to hold a holy revival in the land? Um, I'd be concerned if he was because uh, he doesn't want to praise God and bless God. He, you know, <laughs> But uh, but he's saying he wants to put the fear of God. And those are those are some fighting words, folks. And also the lockdowns are going across the country. You know, I know there's been these so-called shootings or whatever, but they seem to be having this overall effect where they get to roll out their power and show their power and uh, against the resistance. You know, and so I think that these uh, law enforcement agencies are definitely uh, taking advantage of. Uh, of the situations we had uh, a situation just happen here. Uh, Yesterday, uh, at IS, or is it ISU, where a, a high-speed chase, a, a father got in, in an argument with his son, and uh, the son took off in the father's truck. It was over a pack of cigarettes. The, the father then called the police to report the truck stolen, and when he did, they got in a high-speed chase, and, uh, and then the cops were running into the truck, and then they all got out of their cars and shot the truck up, or one guy did, and six shots and killed the son. He was only uh, 19 years old, 20-year-old kid. So, you know, just keep that in mind, folks, uh, when you choose to call law enforcement on your family and how it may end up, regardless of a pack of cigarettes, the argument, stolen truck, or whatever. Unless somebody's going to die or is dead or is going to be murdered, don't call the cops for nothing. Uh, you know, anything under that, you should be able to take care of on your own and into other legal means if you have to, to the private courts and lawyers. We don't need to be calling law enforcement anymore. I say let's boycott 911, you know. Even when you're dealing with family issues, all your family issues, keep it within your four walls and stop calling the cops. And start dealing with your own problems, America. Come on. You know, otherwise your children are going to be wasted on the street. Because these guys don't care. They don't care. All right, they don't want to be called as much as you don't, you know, and they're tired of dealing with it too. So, you know, when you, you get a, a, a stolen vehicle uh, report, they're going to shoot to kill, period. No more BS, I guess, on their side, huh? So, stop calling the cops, deal with your problems. We don't need them, you know, honestly. You know, so you know that guy that called the the cops on his son. You got got him killed over not wanting to give him money over a pack of cigarettes. Now I know that's seven bucks in this state, but come on, my my daughter's life. You know, I'm never gonna call the cops on her for nothing, never ever, for nothing. I don't even care. She murdered somebody. <laughs> you know, the cops aren't gonna get a call from me anyway. You know, we deal with it in other ways, uh, but do law enforcement nowadays. I say that that day is over. Okay. So, I, I know I'll probably talk more about that than the uh, X-Class flare we just had, but both are very serious issues. And I do touch on politics every once in a while. And uh, uh, just to let you know how it is, you know. And I, 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 if you look through all my videos, you won't find a thumbs down. You won't. So, anyway, guys, love you all. Take care. Tell me what you think.